BYD is going to build the world's biggest battery in the world's biggest desert. Now, it's not the world's biggest desert, but it's certainly one of them. It's going to be built in Saudi Arabia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Saudi Arabia is going green. In fact, the Middle East is building out more renewables than any, kind, any other area in the world except China. They're even doing it at a far faster pace than either Australia or the United States or Germany or, well, anywhere. Saudi Arabia likes massive, massive architecture, it likes building the biggest buildings. It likes to go all in on, well, it's just built, um, just actually in the process of building a grid that can run 24 hours a day on solar and batteries alone. We're talking about the first of its kind ever in the world. Saudi Arabia has now signed a deal with BYD to build the world's biggest ever battery storage project. The deal is for five lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which will each be 500 megawatts slash 2,500 megawatts for a total of 2.5 gigawatts slash 12.5 gigawatt hours. This isn't only the biggest battery in the world, this is the biggest battery in the world by an order of magnitude. I mean, the next biggest battery in the world is less than 50% smaller. This is utterly insane. A battery this size could really potentially run all of Australia, right? If you split it up into separate pieces and put it around Australia, it could run all the, in the, basically the entire country. With the amount of solar we have here, we have 4 million households that have solar on their roofs, Add to all that, all the solar farms and everything else and the existing wind we have. I mean, we wouldn't really need coal anymore. That's how big this battery is. The five-site deal for five five-hour batteries was foreshadowed in January when Chinese media broke the news that BYD had won a tender that had been announced actually back in August. BYD will handle all aspects of delivery and installation at sites reported to be in demand centers of Riyadh, uh, four other places, four, uh, basically five different cities in Saudi Arabia. So this isn't actually one battery. It's one battery kind of connected, interconnected to four other batteries. So it's a total of five different batteries which will be connected together. These batteries will all act as grid stabilizers and, of course, be charged during the day by massive solar farms. The battery use, is using new MC3T technology launched in April last year. And this is, uses what's known as a CTS or cell to system technology, which similar to cell to body technology, which is used in electric cars, so like structural battery technology, it integrates the storage cells into the structure of the whole battery pack. And that means you can fit more batteries into one container. But basically these batteries, they just look like shipping containers, most of them. And what this means is that the shipping container, rather than just housing the batteries, actually works as the structure of the battery. So it means BYD can fit more batteries into each container. And it also means that fewer materials are needed to make the unit and there's a high proportion of storage cells to the overall size. It's actually a really good idea. The contract comes on top of an initial 500 megawatt slash 2000 megawatt hour BYD battery switched on at Bisha, Southwest Saudi Arabia in January. So in total, that means BYD are building out nearly 15,000 megawatt hours of storage in Saudi Arabia, which is just truly insane. Interestingly, Tesla, um, who I'm sure would have been in the running to bid for this contract, lost out to BYD. BYD says its total projects delivered or signed for in Saudi Arabia actually amount to a total of 15.1 gigawatt hours of battery storage. The Middle Eastern country is buying its battery in batteries, says reneweconomy.com.au to support its big renewable energy ambitions for 2030, but time is running out to meet those. Renew Economy says that in 2012, Saudi Arabia announced plans to reach 41 gigawatts of solar capacity by 2032 at a cost of 110 billion US dollars. It has gradually changed this goal and now plans to get at least 50% of its power from renewable energy by 2030, or some 130 gigawatts in total split into 58.7 gigawatts from solar and 40 gigawatts from wind. As you can see, solar is taking precedence over wind for good reason. 
there's a lot of sun in Saudi Arabia. Government website Saudi and Middle East Green Initiatives reveals just how much is going on in the green energy field in the country. It shows that 44.2 gigawatts of projects are under development and another 100 to 130 gigawatts are expected to be tendered before 2030. This is a pretty remarkable development and it's really an illustration of what Tony Sieber has been saying here. Countries will, when they see the cost of solar and batteries crashing, falling quickly, it'll only make logical sense for them to get rid of coal power plants, even gas plants, and nuclear, none of them can stack up. It doesn't matter where you are located anywhere in the around the world. Renewables are just cheaper today, tomorrow, in 2028, they're going to be even cheaper again. In 2030, even cheaper again. So for anyone arguing for, for the case for nuclear, I just don't think it makes sense. And Saudi Arabia, well, they would agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching. The biggest BYD Blade battery is actually located in Saudi Arabia. It's the largest single phase battery in the world. It's just been turned on and it's set to power millions of homes. You would think, right, Saudi Arabia, surely their, their main gig is oil. You know, they just basically drill millions of gallons of oil. So therefore, why would they bother with renewables? But actually, all across the Middle East, countries are going green. They are building out enormous, massive, massive solar farms that are just bigger than the eye can see and huge battery packs to store all that electricity. What this means is they've now discovered you can in fact have a grid that runs purely off solar backed up by batteries, especially when you live in the desert. The world's largest battery project it was just being built in the desert. It's just been turned on. And it is utilizing BYD's blade batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, this is the biggest battery in the world that's currently switched on. Largest single phase. But there are more batteries that are bigger than this that are currently being built. So it won't be the largest in the world for very long. And that's pretty normal now. You know, only a few years ago, Tesla built the biggest battery in the world here in Australia, in a place called Adelaide in South Australia. It's now considered really, really small. So that's how things are trending at the moment. This new mega battery battery is located in Saudi Arabia, and it is a 500 megawatt, 2000 megawatt hour facility in Bisha, Asia province. It is the world's largest single phase energy storage project. And it will give around eight hours runtime. 